Azithromycin is something you will absolutely see during your career as a nurse. This is a very common medication. Its trade name is Zithromax. Okay, so this is given a lot both in the hospital and in outpatient settings or in places, you know, like family practice settings. This is a medication that is prescribed very often because it's very broad spectrum. It treats URI, you know, respiratory infections, lower respiratory infections, chronic bronchitis, otitis media, skin infections, various STIs, prevention of bacterial endocarditis, and treatment of cystic fibrosis. So it has a very broad spectrum of uh, conditions that it can treat and that it is given for. So that's why it's, it's such a common medication and very important to know. What it does it is, is it that it inhibits bacterial protein synthesis. So if we inhibit the synthesis of protein in this bacteria, the bacteria is then obviously going to die and we are going to then be able to treat this infection. Therapeutic class is anti-infective and it's an atypical mycobacterium. Pharmacologic class is macrolid. So nursing considerations, one of the biggest things to keep in mind with this type of medication is that it can lead to pseudomembranous colitis, uh, which is inflammation of the colon caused by C. diff. Okay, so it can lead to C. diff and the pseudomembranous colitis, pain, diarrhea, nausea, Stevens-Johnson syndrome we've talked about before, which is really kind of the skin starts to kind of come off the patient and, and, and it's very... Uh, severe, you know, you'll see it, angioedema, which would be swelling of the tissues of the face and which can actually lead to cutting off uh, respiratory tract. So they can actually swell the tongue, it can swell the cheeks, it can swell the lips to the point that the patient is no longer able to breathe, very serious condition. And so that'll be something you're going to want to watch for in your patient. It can also lead to increase the risk of warfarin toxicity. So if you have a patient who's taking warfarin, they get a URI, they get uh, azithromycin added, then you're going to want to watch for toxicity, warfarin toxicity. Want to monitor for signs of anaphylaxis. And then you're going to want to let the patient know they need to let the nurse know or the physician know that of, of new diarrhea, blood or pus in the stool, you know, which could be a sign of the pseudomembranous colitis and the C. diff. And you're going to want to instruct the patient to take the medication exactly as prescribed. What will happen a lot of times with patients, especially when this medication is given in an outpatient type setting, when they come into the doctor, they're prescribed uh, azithromycin and they leave, what a lot of times will happen is they start to notice they're getting better, right? Well, because they're taking the medication. But what the patient will a lot of times do is they'll stop taking the medication. They figure, well, I'm getting better, so I don't need it anymore. But what you need to let them know is they need to take the entire course of the medication. These medications are prescribed specifically to treat over a specific course. A lot of times it'll be 10 days or so, but they need to complete the entire course of the medication. All right, so this is an important medication to know. Uh, I can treat a lot of things. You're going to see it often in your career as a nurse. And this is Zithromycin. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to MedMasterCourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to MedMasterCourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.